Hello, good morning everybody. It's Aisa, not Asia. And today I'm going to be trying out uh, one of the products that I got at the Afrolicious Hair Affair. It is called Clean Dirt by Curly and it is a clay wash. Okay, so I'm shaking it up and I'm looking at it. It's very liquidy, so it would be like a basically a pre-made thing, but it's different than Terra Essentials uh, mud wash because of its extremely uh, liquid state. Uh, clean dirt ingredients are Rasul and bentonite clay, so there is no choosing which one makes your hair curly or anything like that. It's supposed to do the whole thing. Uh, it also has rosehip oil, uh, basil, rosemary, tea tree oils, linden flower, nettle leaf, and aloe vera juice. So, um, yeah, I am feeling very excited about this and that it's going to make my curls pop. I am a little bit uh, taken aback by the liquid nature of it because, you know, uh, normally when a product is very thick, you would add some water to it or maybe some aloe vera juice or something to uh, liquefy it a little so that it will stretch but now it seems that it's already stretched and I don't remember how much I paid for this. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try to use as little as possible uh, in order to still clean my hair and get the effects that I'm going for. And I'll be back after I'm finished washing to let you guys know how it went for me. Okay, I'm back. I just got out of the shower. My hair is still basically dripping wet. And, um... Yeah, I need to give y'all my assessment of this product. First off, I want y'all to realize how low my hair is hanging. Now, I have a video that's like, uh, am I true 4C? And you can see, you know, how my hair actually normally looks after being washed. And it's like little, like my little, uh, what you call it? My little uh, Florida Evans afro. That might be because of this clip, but I do not think so. My hair is greatly elongated, and if you could touch it, it is ridiculously so. Okay, so first off, let me use one of these clips to clip up my boobage. All right. All right, first off, I am souped, okay? I am so souped about my hair. In the shower, this product is freaking awesome, okay? Um, as soon as I put it on my hair, my hair felt completely smoothed out, very, very soft. I could have finger detangled it in the shower if I wanted to. The comb slid right through. Um, I know that that would have something to do with both of the clays, okay, because we know that they help to uh, define your curls, which is to, you know, smooth them out, help them to clump together. Um, the aloe vera juice helps to close your uh your cuticles and I am high porosity so um, those things working together really really hit the spot also um, you could feel it I can still feel it still 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 I can still feel it um, my scalp is tingling and I'm pretty sure that's from the tea tree oil but also um, I have had rosemary oil I got some in the kitchen it is also pretty potent and it does a uh, uh, pack a little bit of a, a tingle as well. I'm not sure about the basil, but I would assume so. I don't think that rosehip oil uh, tingles. Um, but all in all, like I said, I put this on. Uh, it made my hair instantly soft. It's still soft. It's so soft right now that I am not going to use any conditioner because I fear that the conditioner is going to make my hair hard. Like, this did everything that my life needed, and look how much I used. And I washed my hair twice, okay? Um, I did it once, and I was like, well, I don't know if it's really clean. So I did it again, and yeah. So this is two uses. So uh, the extra liquid, it didn't hurt it like I thought it would. It actually just did help it to go on uh, much easier. And I did it just a regular, easy way. Just like I only uh, parted my hair into two sections. And I went here and here and here and it coated all of the strand instantly soft. You can tell where the product was based on how your hair felt. So if you felt any place that didn't feel soft, you're like, okay, no product right there. But it went on very, very easily. It, um, it spread itself out very, very smoothly, very easily onto all of the hair. My hair feels 
fantabulous. Um, the only drawback, kind of, I guess, is the smell, but it's not really a drawback. It's just, you know, it isn't fruity, tooty like a lot of the products that are out there. It's more of an industrial smell because I guess it smells more like the tea tree oil and the rose, uh, the rosemary oil and those sorts of things because they have a, a strong pungent sort of scent. But I don't care about the smell as long as my hair could be like this. So my hair... I, I mean, I'm just feeling like it's already stretched. I'm very, very happy with this product. Um, I'm going to leave a link if I can find one because on the bottle, all it has is a uh, email address. I like it, I think, even better than Terra Essentials because I don't remember... I don't remember how Terra Essentials did with my hair, but this is fantabulous, and I would definitely like to purchase some more of this Clean Dirt by Curly, okay? So I'm going to go and play in this lusciousness right now um, before I mess it all up and let it really, really shrink up uh, like it wants to do all on its own. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. And until the next time, I love y'all, and I can't wait to talk to you again. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you check out my previous video. I also have a gossip rant and review channel. And swing by my fitness channel. Don't forget to subscribe.